Hello, my name is Michael Evans. I'm player X. And I'm Richard Children. Today we are going to be playing Conspiracy. It's a simple little card game. Very similar to Mummy. If you play old fashioned card games. And start out with everyone gets 11 cards. 10. I just read off 10. Okay. And start out with everybody gets 11 cards, the 10 cards. <laughs> <laughs> I will get this right eventually. No, no, I believe you. I just, I just have 11 in my head for some reason. Yeah. Now count your cards, make sure I gave everyone 10 cards. Now, to start out with, the dealer takes from the deck, which is called the on down, uh, takes the top card, flips it over, puts it in the discard pile, which is called the uh, tabloid, and then the first player, which is player X, because he rolled better than I did. No, it's Richard. Oh, wait, I should, you should have been shuffling, dealing. Richard Schilt. <laughs> this is going to be a fun video. <laughs> Richard Shilton is first player, because he rolled better than I did, because Player X didn't listen to me and rolled the same as I did. That is right. That is how that works. Yeah, so Richard Shilton gets to go first. So this is a lot like Rummy, I'm told. I've never actually played Rummy. Like two confessions. So what we're doing, we're trying to collect conspiracies. Which means every conspiracy, well, there would be cards with different colors. And uh, we're trying to get at least three of the same color to play, to play a conspiracy. Mm -hmm. And then once someone plays a conspiracy, other people can strengthen it, which means they play one conspiracy. And uh, all the cards have uh, numbers on them. Mm -hmm. That's how many points they're worth if they're in front of you at the end of the game. That's how many uh, card points they take away from you if they're still in your hand. Okay, so I will draw from the... Un What's it see? Do I have... No, I don't have two of those, so I will draw from the unknown. Okay. Which so, one? I will draw... I will play an action card. This action card, remote viewing. You can only play one action card a turn, unless you have a proper conspiracy draw game. Draw three cards from the unknown. Keep one and return the other two in the order at the top. So I put just get back over into the tabloids. So I pick up three. I hope I get something that matches one of the ones I have. Now, gray cards are action cards. Also, every conspiracy has a proof, which has a lightning bolt symbol, which means it's also an action card. And you can only play one action uh, per turn unless you have the proper jersey, which I believe I already said. Okay, well, I will keep this one. I will put them back in this order. I will, with the help of leaked files, which is a wild card. Oh, uh, you already played an action. You play one action a turn. Yes, but it's not an action, is it? Yep. It's if it has a lightning bolt, it's an action. Okay. Well, Especially if it's gray. Yeah, so I went for play per turn. Did you put the other two back on top of the deck? Yes, I did. Okay. Back on top of the unknown, sorry. Yes. Okay, so... Yes, they do have the same symbol. So I cannot use wild cards with wild cards or action cards. Nope. Which means... Unless, uh, unless that's the only action card you're playing that turn. Yes. Which means I'm done. Oh, no, sorry. No, I have this card. Yes, you must, just, you must draw, always draw either from the tabloids or the unknown, and you must always discard a uh, card to the tabloid. I will discard the moon landing. I will take the moon landing. You son of a... I will, however, discard... Area 51. Because no one believes in Area 51. Yeah. Alright. Well, the player is one of those kids that believe in play Area 51. Step one, draw a card. Step two, eh. Step three, profit. Step two, I'll use an action card. One, two, or three cards from your hand. And let's place it with an equal number of cards from the unknown. Discard three cards. And pick up three cards from the unknown. What three did you pick up? Let's put in one. Okay. I don't remember how to do that. I think you have to discard them one at a time. So, when you're using no, when you're using that card, don't say. No, no, you just go each card at a time. Yeah. You just go, you just go one card at a time. Yeah. Oh no, you not not with, when you're using that one, card. One, two, oh. or three cards. Yes, from but your you hand. just card them one at a time. Okay. You go. This is one card in this card. This is two cards okay. in this card. And this is three cards in this card. All right. So in other words, we see them as they get. All right. So. 
It doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't matter. We've seen what they are. Yeah, we've seen, yeah, we've seen what they are. Bing, bang, boom. Well, that's how we're going to play from now on. Oh, okay. That is how we're going to play from now on. The Philadelphia Experiment, the Ken Trails Proof, and uh, Moon Landing. I will discard... That card. That card, yeah. Area 51. Area 51. And the power of Area 51 is uh, you get to look at the top two cards uh, from the unknown. If you're going to draw from the unknown, choose one and put the other one back. And the proof cards cannot be used as part of the conspiracy theory. No, they, you know, proof cards can be used as part of the conspiracy as long as you're not using another action card. You can only, the only rule okay. for action cards is you can only use one action card Yes, there are action cards. So now if you wanted to use these files, you can play your conspiracy. Unfortunately, I can't do that because... You're going to play another action? I'm going... well... Or you can wait the next turn to play an action. I will put down the cold fusion conspiracy. I will. That has no powers, but it's worth the most points. I will then say retrieve one card from the tabloid, play it immediately, even if it's a uh, action card. What I will retrieve from the tabloid is the proof of cold fusion. Loud explosion. Play with conspiracy for cold. To help, would help you feel uh, your conspiracy of that type. So, I am currently in the lead with a whole 14 points. I am going And oh, I will discard. Yep. There we go. We're going to take this, play this, and when you play or strengthen the, uh, conspir the Philadelphia experiment, you must retrieve any card from the tabloid. And there's probably Philadelphia conspiracy in there. And I am going to uh, let player X go now. Step one. For some reason, I keep on thinking action cards is only special cards as opposed to special uh, cards and this and that. And that. When I first started playing, I start, did the same thing yes. all the time. I've had this game for a while. I kickstarted it. My wife and I actually really enjoy it. Played a lot. In the first several games, we kept going, putting them down like, wait, we can't do that. <laughs> Of course, we usually realize that like three or four turns afterwards, so yes. we can't really take it back. And All right. That's the one thing. If you're playing this, if you're playing this game, it's the one thing you gotta watch out for is that lightning bolt symbol. You can only play one lightning bolt symbol a turn unless you you play the reptilian overlord conspiracy, which lets you play two uh, actions a turn. I don't know if the card I want is still in there. Uh -huh. So. I don't know if you're allowed to go through you the uh, tabloids. I don't think you're allowed to go through the tabloids. You just watch them as if you put down one at a time. Oh, okay. I am going to... Yeah. While you do this, I'm going to look that up, random roll up. Because uh -huh. I didn't see what card you took from the tabloids. No, he doesn't. He I, I, I'll tell you what, this once, both of you look while we're going through. And then, um, uh -huh. uh, once I find the rule, we'll start playing by that rule for, yes. then. So... One reptilian, one moon landing, one, whatever that is, uh, area 52, two area 52s, and a bunch of action cards. Secret of Formant. And you're picking up the reptilian. Mm -hmm. And did you already draw your card? Yes. Yes, okay. Now just put down cards or discard that card. I was going to do something different, but I will instead pick up the role-playing one with two role-playing games of Satanic and one leaked file. Basically, during scoring, I'll get plus one of each conspiracy I have. I'm down to three cards, which means I hate to do this, but I will discard Hitler's DNA. They're cloning Hitler! No, that's proof they're cloning Hitler. You have to have Hitler's D You have to have that first. Okay. If you say so. I am going to strengthen your conspiracy. Because role playing is devil worship! Mm -hmm. I'm going to lay down uh, Moon Landing, because that was obviously a fake. Uh, moon Landing. And I'm going to get rid of this card. Oh. That goes into the discard pile, because when Moon Landing conspiracy is revealed or strengthened, you may discard any conspiracy or proof card from in front of the opponent's tabloids. And I think I'm going to start chemtrails. Okay, so he has jumped in the lead with Nothing 10. is over until it's over, though. 17 points to my now easily 
16. Take the chemtrails. Okay, you're collecting chemtrails. Good to know. You're putting chemtrails down. Real good to know. chemtrails. And may randomly take a card from an opponent's hand and look at it. The card may be returned to them or discarded to the tabloids. You're targeting me? Yes. I gave that to you. I was nice enough to give you're going to throw that in my face, really. Yeah. This game is called Conspiracy, not uh, Nice Players. I'll be nice enough. Okay, I'll just come on. Well, then there's... Oh, action card. Oh. So we've already played an action card. Yeah, uh, reveal one conspiracy or strength and strengthen one. I think I will strengthen role playing games. Okay. So everyone's getting the benefits from the role playing games. Yeah. I've... That's the thing about laying down conspiracies is, is timing it right so that way you can get do it before and go out so that other people can't get the benefit of it. Done. Oh, another thing is we have the Bigfoot Conspiracy, which is was which was a Kickstarter exclusive, but it really doesn't change the game that much. Uh, it even recommends to take if you're playing with Bigfoot, take out another conspiracy, which we didn't do because it's supposed to make the game longer. It really doesn't change the length of the game. I'm gonna strengthen this, and I'm going to. And you did target me. That was a mistake. You must learn from your mistakes. I'm sure that you do. Does that I mean that this to... conspiracy collapses? No, no, no. Okay. I'm going to strengthen this. I'm going to take. In this case, I, have... I know I, will... I haven't found the rule whether you can or not. I'm going to take this. Okay. Lighting. Yep. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to play it yet. No, because you want to talk to somebody else who do it. Exactly. So X. Wait, wait, no, no, I have to discard it. Mm -hmm. I'll discard that card. Oh, you're collecting Mario Apocalypse as well. You have the Mario Apocalypse. If he goes out, we don't score. If he has 12 points in it. Okay. He doesn't have 12 points in it yet. No. No. Which means we have to make sure he doesn't get any more, add more leak files to it. Yes, I was going to go for the Bigfoot Conspiracy. There's nothing worse than people throwing up conspiracies when you have three cards in your hand. Hey, you're talking each just equally. I'm going to throw this out. So you're welcome to it if you want it. I may have just missed it, but I don't see anything about not looking through the, through the tabloids, so I'm assuming That's we can look through the tabloids. Strengthen thing. the Philadelphia experiment, which means Go I must tabloids. retrieve a card from the tabloids. Yes. Yep. Which could be that one at the top. Or a jerk card, or... Because there is a jerk card. In there are a few of them. Well, there's at least one of the chemtrails. If you do draw that out, just remember you already targeted me. And I only targeted you once so far. Well, we've been rather good spreading it around. So it's bread and love. Sure, why not? So well, when did you draw? Lab explosion. Okay. So I've laid down this. You strengthen that, you strengthen that. Strengthen that. Uh -huh. And then... Discard. Discard that card. Okay. Minor Pontulus. Discarding Bigfoot, last card. Last card as well. Oh. So everyone gets a chance, every other player gets to discard a card from their hand. So we're probably not going to show, we're probably going to edit out the scoring. But what we do, we count up. Uh, what we, first what we do is we go through the, we go through this, uh, the deck. And we're supposed to do it. We're supposed to uh, separate them out by conspiracies, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to flip through. And if I see a conspiracy that matches one of the ones we have, so the person with most of those gets rid of one. Yep. Person with most of those gets rid of one. Mm. And that's it. Okay. So. So. Now we're going. What now? What we do is we count up the points we have here, 
and then we subtract any coins that we have left in our hands but we have none. So I'm probably going to edit, start editing here and I'll come, we'll have the score marked down here for when we come back. We'll probably come back when we have the cards dealt, dealt out. So we are back. Now, you know when we said we we're going to do things the way they should be done? Well, we forgot to do that when we were scoring, so... Um. You see, when a conspiracy, it doesn't matter uh, where the conspiracy are, if a conspiracy adds up to 10, you're supposed to double the score for it because it's been proven. I have never played by that rule because I find it makes the game go too quickly. So I accidentally did it by our house rules rather than the actual rules. So we should be a lot, our score should be a lot higher. But like I say, we're doing it by the house rule, which is you get what's on the card. So we had our cards dealt, we dealt all the cards. I have the most points, which means I go first, or no, which means I shuffle and deal, which means player S goes first. And again, first card in the tablet is the Reptilian Overlord, which is the conspiracy lets you play two actions a turn. Let's try again. You just go big foot. I pick up this one. No, no, I don't believe it's a big foot just because it's a pension for Rolexes. With the aid of the leaked file, I put down the Devil worship the role playing is an evil devil worship pet. Which of course is true. We know we're role players. I will just get rid of Yeah, we have fifty one. Throwing from the unknown. You're all welcome. They're cloning Hitler! Which uh, now that it's down, can either be used to be strengthened this or it can be used as a wall card. Just waiting for it. So now, if you're using the calling Hitler as a wild card, or the uh, Hitler DNA as a wild card, counts towards that conspiracy and this conspiracy. So if you're playing by the actual rule where if an X conspiracy is 10 or more, mm -hmm. uh, you double the points, it would count both towards the calling Hitler and the conspiracy if you use as a wild card. In it. Okay. But we're, since we're not using that rule, so in case you're trying to learn, if you're learning from us, you actually, uh, it will actually count towards both. Now I will discard if you want. Reveal a conspiracy of the reptilian overlords with the wild card. Now you get to play, uh, he, now he gets to play two actions a turn. He already played one action, so he gets to play one more action. So I believe the other action will be helping in boosting, uh, strengthening the uh, conspiracy of role-playing with devil worship. Well, I found that they are human masks, strengthening your conspiracy, uh, which means I can now play two action cards as well. And I will look at the top three cards of the deck, keep one and put the other two back, whichever order I want. And discard. Well, there's been so many tabloid stories about Bigfoot. He's going to be worth nothing at the end of the game. Vote Crump. <laughs> so we're all now playing two action cards for the rest of the game. I am going to play this, play this conspiracy. Like this. I am going to... Which one is that? The Philadelphia Experience? Yep. Going to discard this card. Uh, on the men in black card, I will discard three cards okay. to replace them from the unknown Crash Saucer, Chemtrails, and Lab Explosion. Okay. It was pandemonium! I don't think we have enough gun tape for that. Then, let's see, that was action card number one. Now, strengthen the conspiracy with a Philadelphia experiment. Now, must retrieve any card from the tabloids. Which one do you take? We've been showing what? Chemtrails. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, never mind. You haven't played yeah. the conspiracy this turn. I haven't revealed the conspiracy. So yeah, I strengthened one. Now I'm revealing one. You may randomly take a card from an opponent's hand to look at it. 
I shall um, look at one of your cards yes. this time. I will shuffle them so they're not in any particular order. Go for a middle. Uh, I will choose to limit your options. Okay. And then I must discard one of my cards. Yes. Last card. Oh, very annoying. I had all sorts of plans to do if I could play that card. And what do you have for conspiracies? Reptilians, yeah. role-playing games, chemtrails, and Philadelphia Experiment. Philadelphia Experiment, okay. And you have? Conspiracies that I have. It's strengthening the reptilian overlords I have. They're cloning Hitler! Yeah. And the Philadelphia Experiment. Okay. Well. Ooh. And who do I chart uh, hit with that? So. Put both of them down to straighten it at the same time. Who shall I hit for that? I don't know. Can I see your card? You can't throw it out or else he's out and then that ends the turn. Mm. <laughs> okay. He's only going to tell you that. <laughs> or at least the next time he goes around, he draw one and throw one out. <laughs> yes. No, I will just go ahead. Okay, I'm going to play this uh -huh. to get this one. I'm going to strengthen this. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to play this conspiracy and throw this out. And I'm out. You're out. Okay. Everyone gets to throw out one card. Uh, I get to go to the, to the discard pile. Bigfoot lets me, uh, at the end of his round, before the cowboys are red, that means before you... Uh, if you have Bigfoot revealed, you may remove one card from the tabloids and set it aside. That card does not count against the conspiracy it is from. If more than one player has Bigfoot revealed, cards removed start with the player who went out and goes clockwise. Now, is there anything I want taken out of here? Bigfoot. No, I think I got both of the Bigfoots out of here. Okay. Nope, there's nothing in here I want to take, get rid of. Now, I'm going to go through, and we're going to... so. No, no, no. Oh, yes. Role playing is a devil. <coughs> or at least, though. No, no. no the person him. with the most cards. Ah, yes. uh, okay. After that, we're tied, though. No. No. Uh, no. Why would anyone discard no. it? That was the first conspiracy put down. That was put down the first hand. Because that, uh, that was the only one I had left in my hand that I okay. got rid of. It just helped that it got rid of points from you. <laughs> it just, oh, like, yeah. just a nice little thing. Okay, so there's nothing else that affects us. Okay. So now, uh, we're, so now, we're going, now we're going to do the scoring. So we're going to cut from here, and then we're going to do the, score, the same thing as last time. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we add up the uh, conspiracies, and then we subtract what we had in our hand, anything we had in our, left in our hands. So right now we're going to cut here, and we're going to come back. We'll have the scores. We'll come back when we're ready to flip the uh, first unknown card. So we are back. Player X is 10 points behind me. So Richard Shelton isn't even trying. <laughs> and so I'm, I have the most, so I shuffle, which means player S goes first. And this is going, probably going to be a uh, repelling overlord. Huh. Broke the streak. Alright. You don't believe that uh, role playing double, double worship? Reveal conspiracy number one. Including action card. Unfortunately, there are no conspiracies that I can strengthen. That's what they keep telling you, isn't it? Don't believe them. <laughs> You're all in on it. Jeez, people have nothing better to write about than, you know, some kid you know, killing his parents because the uh, role play made him do it. Okay. First, I will pick up the role playing conspiracies. Then, I will play my action card of. Go through the deck and pick up any card you want. See, with this one, you either take one from the uh, tabloids, or you can take two from the unknown. Yes. You decide to take one from the tabloids. Yes. Now, discard. So, so I'm going to draw from the unknown. Mm -hmm. 
going to play this. I'm going to get rid of this. I am going to... Oh, I don't care I thought it was. Oopsie. <laughs> I thought it was take one from the... <laughs> I thought it was one let me take from the, ta from the tabloid. It's not. I get to draw three. <laughs> Look at them. Put them back in any... Oops. <laughs> Oh well, I almost feel bad, but I don't care. Yeah. I'm a jerk like that. If you believe in aliens, really. <laughs> Foolishness. Foolishness. Oh, uh, one thing, if you're if you have a leaked file. You have to attach to, it has to be attached to another card. You can't just say, oh look, he has a Bigfoot. I'm going to use Leak File as Bigfoot and attach to nothing. It has to be attached to something. Yes. Like say, so if I play the Leak File and the Bigfoot to go with his, and he got rid of my uh, Bigfoot, my, uh, if there's nothing else uh, that the Leak File is attached to, it will go as well. Uh -huh. Got a whole lot of aliens in there. Aliens and devil worshipping, and devil worshipping role players. That's all it's in the tabloids these days. Well, Where's Bat Boy? <laughs> Maybe it's aliens pretending to be devil worshipping role players. What? Comes out here as well. And an action court. No, I can't do that. <laughs> you can play. You haven't played an action yet. Yes, I know, but I want okay. to play two action cards. Okay, that you can't do. No. So it's dead. Cold fusion. Yeah, get rid of cold fusion. And uh, we'll get rid of the camera trails. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm going to strengthen the Bigfoot conspiracy because everyone knows Bigfoot is real. Yeah. Everybody loves cold fusion. It's like hot fusion, but cool. <laughs> so bad. So bad. Reminding me of StarCraft. I'm ashamed of myself for that one. I don't usually feel shame. Reveal. Discovered. I will play this. I'll draw two cards. Yes, because I'm creeping up on you on the score. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I'm a jerk. Oh, this would be. <laughs> uh, is a minute left to discard a card and draw one. Oh, one time we were playing, and I was going through. I was explaining all the conspiracies to Steph. Must retrieve any card from this card. Now remember, one of them you're going to be able to take out of there anyways, so. So, get one of the ones that the worst the most, I would say. The other one, just forget about it as a throwaway card. Unless you don't trust me. In which case, it doesn't matter because you only take one card out anyways. Yeah, I'm only going to take one card out. Which one do you take out? Action card. Ooh. And I will get rid of the reptilian conspiracy. Play these, strengthen this, I'll get rid of this, and I'm out. <laughs> so, oh, okay. so, I meant to take his card. <laughs> what, it doesn't matter if he's. <laughs> he's not on you. You <laughs> keep me down low. <laughs> It's so because you kept the card secret that I, I didn't trust you. It was the uh, retrieve any one card from the, the tabloids. Or... Yeah. Okay, so, so. So we all get to discard. Oh, okay. we all get to discard? Yeah, yeah everyone gets to discard one card. You sure you don't want to discard the other one? Nope. So now we're going to go through and they each get to take one out of here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, purple. No one had purple? Nope. <coughs> the Aztecs. No one had cloning Hitler. Nope. No one had the. Uh, the there's one. This, that one's there. Yeah, I know. 
Tony Hitler, uh, Aztecs. There is the there's coal fusion. Yep. There is nothing else of people. Oh wait, oh. there's a. Oh. So Andrew, what are you taking? What are you taking? It? Okay. Let's say okay. So okay. the so now these are the ones that affect people. So I, now you can each take one out if you want. I will take cold fusion out. Uh, well, I believe most. Because he has. Oh wait, you're tied. <laughs> I just want to see the. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the round, before the tabloids are read, if you have Bigfoot revealed, you may remove one card from the tabloids and set it aside. That card does not count against the conspiracy it is from. Okay, so it affects everyone. Yes. Yeah, so. So. Get one of those so, ones. This for the fun of it. Well. Which one? Do you want to get rid of either of these? Considering maybe. you're both tied for uh, Cole's fusion. I forgot you. Did. Oh wait, I, is that is that in your hand? These are in my hand. Oh. Did you discard your card already? Yes. Discarded a four. Oh, in that case, you may as well just leave them there. Uh, yeah, I'm good with <laughs> leaving them there. <laughs> so that wasn't the one you discarded, right? That was already... Oh, wait, no, it doesn't matter. It would still be in there. So you're just going to leave them there? Yes. Um, doesn't affect me, so I'm going to leave them there. Mm -hmm. so, so the person with the most that role-playing is Devil Worship, take yep. one out. And most Philadelphia experience, take and one the out. the person with the most Philadelphia experience, yep. take one out. That leaves me with... I hit double digits. And Twelve. once again, we are going to cut here and while well, we score. And we'll be back when we're about to flip over. So we are back. And as you can see, I am slightly in the lead. Uh, player X is slightly behind me. And Rick Chilton's. And I haven't switch. decided whether he's going to play or not. So that means it's my turn to shuffle and, and uh, flip. So player X will go first because the person with the most points is the uh, dealer. Mm -hmm. I am going to flip to this. Ooh, that's a nice one for you. All right. Ooh. All right. Plan B. Well, you have to draw a card either from yeah. now on. Now, on or... now, you don't have to use it just because you do it this turn. You don't have to use it this turn. Hmm. My original plan would have been a lot of points. I would have involved playing two action cards, wouldn't it? Yes. Ken Trails. I'll take a look at one of your cards. I think I'll discard that. Are you 51? No, uh, Moon Landing. Landing. Moon Landing. That's fine. No one believes in the Moon Landing. Yeah. Everyone, know, everyone would know if that was fake. Everyone. That is more closer for me to going out. Yes. I don't want to get card, caught with cards in my hand because that's yeah. really the only way I think I'm going to lose. Now, this one's here to 51. My turn? Yes. I'm a traditionist. I've done this same one as my first conspiracy each game so far. What point is the devil? The devil! And moon landing. I'm going to draw the top two cards of the unknown with my secret informant. Yeah. Cross this one. What are you doing? Retrieving a card from the tabloids. Okay. Did you action cards? Action card. Reveal a conspiracy. So what are you removing? <clears throat> I think I will remove. So I remove it and put it in the uh, discard pile. Discard pile. Then um, I uh, strengthen a conspiracy. Yep. Yeah. And then I discard. Okay. <clears throat> I'll pick this up. What was the one you threw out? I looked in for a second. And the uh, cold fusion. I will put down the Philadelphia appearance experience. That allows me to pick up this card. I will now straighten this conspiracy. Good plan. Good plan. And I will throw away. They're cloning Hitler. Oh, if you want to give it to me, sure. Okay, this. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna throw away. Now I know it seems silly to do this, but there's you threw away three cloning Hitlers. Yep. Because I want something else. 
And now we're going to do the thing I meant to do last turn, which is play Mind Apocalypse. And I'm going to throw, oh, I'm going to strengthen that conspiracy. Uh-huh. And then throw away this. Okay. Out of vague curiosity, why don't you just play the, um, the plumbing hit the conspiracy? Because then you guys would have wild cards to help you out. <laughs> <laughs> Scorched earth. <clears throat> Nose, spidey face. Plus, there's a chance to give me the, the car for the conspiracy I want. Feel like I'm up, uh, really. Pretty much, yes. Yeah, Nose, spidey face. Like, if it's gonna help you guys, nope. <laughs> Now you guys will think twice about using it as well. Action card, which is a proof of, in the form of a demonic monster manual. Uh -huh. So now I want to get rid of that one of his cards, so that way you both lose cards. And no, I would then discard. I don't have any No, you you have two, and he'd have two. If you have three right now, because yeah. that wall card comes to that. Oh. Oh, well, since we already got rid of Hitler's bet, let's get rid of Hitler's opponent. Why didn't I do that? Why? Because I'm an idiot. I'm going to draw two. Yeah. I will give this to player X. Draw, I will use my action cards to add a leaked file to the moon landing. Mm -hmm. Discard this one. Well played, sir. Well played. Yes, you've taken, um, what, four points from him? Three. Three. As opposed to two. Yes. I'll discard this card. Okay. I will pick up this card. And <laughs> think... Boy, was it a good thing I forgot to lay down those other three cold fusion cards last turn before I did my turn. <laughs> and I will discard this. Are you out? I'm out. Right. I will discard one card. Mm -hmm. I will discard one card. So now we go through here. Go through the tabloids. There's mm -hmm. no... No. No human... Uh, no uh, person overlords. No Bigfoot. Nope. No, oh, there is devil worshipping is... Uh, Role playing is that word? Yep. No Tony Hitler. No uh, Tony Overlords. No Area 51. No Tony Hitler. No Bigfoot. Uh, there is a moon landing. And there is no uh, Area 51. Okay. So now we are, uh, once again, we are going to score our points. And we will be back in a moment. So we are back now. And as you see, uh, Richard Shelton decided to join the game. I took a break. And player X now in the lead, which means uh, player X became the dealer, and he gets to flip the first uh, unknown into the tabloids. Okay, so I won't draw from the tabloids. I will draw here, and I picked up a leak file. So. I mean, he's gonna play it since he announced it. <laughs> yes, I am. Unfortunately, the shuffling was too good. So, leaked file. As part of the. <laughs> <laughs> What can I say? It's a favorite, and I keep on getting doubted. Yes, the cards are shuffled. Though, though Richard Shelton does do the lion's share of the shuffling. But I, then I hand it off to somebody else who shuffles it up to bed. They just never look under the table for those cards I'm hiding. Apparently, we don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm going to strengthen your conspiracy. And it turns out Area 51 was real. I found it. Right next to Area 52, the neighbors. 
He says, well, I probably thighs. There are two. Well, it can only reveal one conspiracy. Uh, you can I strengthen. Right? So I can, can only strengthen play one strengthen and reveal. But you can only play one action card. I see two action cards down. Yes. Much better. Oopsie. <laughs> 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 Again, like I say, sometimes seeing that, that lightning bolt, it is an easy mistake to make. Yes. And you've discarded. So even if you play for a while, it is easy to miss that, light, miss that lightning bolt. I will play it again and get the effect again. The effect of this is every turn, I will get to draw uh, two cards from the unknown if I draw from the unknown. Choose one and put the other one back. I will play an action card. Three, keep one, replace the other two in any order. Then you play the secret informant and draw the two anyways. Strengthen conspiracy. And discard. The man in black come by. Here come the man in black. I will discard a couple million conspiracies and a... Oh, Bigfoot. And get three a new couple cards. Of Amer- say two, you're doing two mind conspiracies? Yeah. Okay. And a Bigfoot to get three new cards. Or at least one mind conspiracy. <laughs> yeah, and at least one Bigfoot. Well, no, because you had two, so one more would have given you. And probably the two on top that was a mind conspiracy. <laughs> Only player X and uh, Richard Shilton know for sure. Oh, I might as well. For good measure. My turn, I will go do this. Jeez, I think I'm going to play that. I bet you guys never expected that you have that, did you? No. Now what other action card do you plan to play? That one. <laughs> That's a discard. What I'll do is, I'll draw this one. Using an action card, I will reveal a conspiracy. Uh-huh. Reptilian overlords! Now you get to use two action cards a turn. Using another action card, I will... Uh, let's see... Do something else. Oh! Speaking of my husband, I could have drew two cards, looked at them, and put one back. Yes. So could he, but he didn't. Either. Did he have that out already? Yes. yes. It, oh, okay. I thought you did put that out this term for some reason. No, it was already out. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's what I don't like. At that's the why of your turn. That's why Area 51 is my least favorite conspiracy because I always forget to use the power. Yes. Don't worry. We won't remind you to do it. I, I, I don't expect that, that. Even though, except for that one time when I wasn't in the room, and I didn't explain his power. I always I just been explaining my power, his powers to player X, making sure he uses them. He's not going to remind me, only because he's going to create himself, not out of spider anything. It's just he's going to forget just like I am. Yes. So, because of this, I'll use another action card. This time, a secret informant. Get two more cards. Get two more cards, and I will discard Moonlight. Okay. I will pick up a card. I will strengthen the conspiracy. I will do some remote viewing. One, two, three. I will laugh obviously at these. Put them back in the same order. And play a uh, sequence for me. No. I will play a leaked file that Bigfoot comes up to play. And this is the fifth million conspiracy I've discarded. <laughs> if I had kept them, only I would be scoring. They ain't gone out. Throw away Hitler's DNA, uh, Hitler's DNA and Cold Fusion and draw two more. Mm-hmm. I will strengthen now uh, Bigfoot. Yep. I will discard remote viewing. Alright. I will draw. Ah! 
Draw another one. And then Look at one, it. Right. <laughs> Keep those two separate from the others. Yeah. Decide which one you want. Decide which one I'm going to get. Laugh at me. Uh, draw two cards. You keep one, put the other one back. All right. I can't. At least I remembered. So, Not for my turn. <laughs> at least I remember. With this action card, which is a secret informant, I will go through and get what I want. Mm-hmm. Was that the card you just picked out? Was that the card I could have chosen? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. It was a card that could have won you the game, yes. No, no. Because I already used it. Then I will reveal a conspiracy. Philadelphia experiment. And then go through and draw a card. And then play your, the action again. Let's see, then with... Well, you can't go up this turn, that's something. With an action card, and another one, I will strengthen a conspiracy. Which one? Is it? Bigfoot. Bigfoot. So reveal, strengthen. And you play your two actions. Yeah, and... with discarding chemtrails. Okay. I will pick up one. I will strengthen your conspiracy. Ooh. I will go through and pick one of the Mayan uh, apocalypses. <laughs> no, I won't do that. We've gone too far for that. No. I will get another big foot. I have to remember, I can draw two if I'm drawing from the unknown. And choose one. And watch the one that he puts down, the one that you absolutely have to get. Well, in that case, I don't care. I only have one card left. And I will throw out chemtrails. Oh, good! No. One, two. Oh. It's a good thing I remember that because strengthen that. I'm out. Discard one. Discard one. And a leaked file. Now I'm going to go through. There's no cold fusion. No chemtrails. No cold fusion. No Hitler. No mind apocalypse. That's obviously false. Uh-huh. No moon landing. Again, obviously false. Uh, mind apocalypse, mind apocalypse, mind apocalypse, mind apocalypse. Moon landing. Okay, so none of these affect anyone. So, we're, well, I think I might have won this one. Yep. So we'll. So, that is a conspiracy. You play two hundred, and whoever has the most points wins. So we all got a hundred. At we, least we all pass one hundred, which is because if you looked at, looking at the beginning scores, it's kind of fun. It's kind of uh, amazing. You got caught with a big hand. I got caught. Well, I got caught with uh, a hand equal to what I had in points. Yes. So that really hurt me. So we will be back in a moment to give our opinions on conspiracy. Hello, we're back with our opinion on conspiracy. It's a lot like Rummy with a few differences. Very frustrating to forget various modifiers that conspiracies give you. Isn't it? It really is. Although, like I say, a lot of times I don't even bother, unless I already have it in my hand to begin with, I don't bother with uh, the Air Efficient One conspiracy. I, I kickstarted this game. When I read the description in the, kick, in the Kickstarter campaign, I was expecting something completely different. I was expecting uh, a Illuminati like type game. Yes, it was something like Illuminati or like only pumped up. But when I got this, started reading through the rule book, I'm like, oh my god, this is what I get back? Oh, this is horrible. I was wrong. I really liked this game. It's rummy with power, with uh, special powers. But I re- it, it really is a lot of fun. My wife really likes it. and It's easy enough to teach to people. It's uh, silly fun. But uh, like I say, you go through the conspiracy. If, if you're, like I say, if, if you really like conspiracies, mm-hmm. it's great because you're like, oh, okay, I know that conspiracy. Yeah. Uh, there, so there's some people that you really can't play this game with because 
it will devolve from a, a, a simple card game to uh, this, you know, people arguing over whether this is real or that is well, real. <laughs> you do know that um, Kate is really the queen mother with the new flesh mask. She's one of the reptoids, the reptoids that um, when they fake to a death because, you know, they live for thousands of years, um, they decide to breed her back in the bloodline. That's why Kate married Royal. Yeah. And I know a few people that will say that with a straight face and mean it and actually think it. So like I say, so you got to be careful who you're playing with this with. That, that's, uh, that's the one uh, caveat I have about this game is um, great fun as long as you're not playing with someone who takes these sort of things seriously. I have the uh, same opinion as Robert Anton Wilson, which is uh, conspiracies are great as long as you don't believe them. Read as much as you can about them. They're great fun. Whether they're true or not, doesn't really matter. Just play the game. <laughs> yes. So, a fun game, uh, what, what, four or five hands? That would be on average. Now, if you're playing by the actual, there's an actual rule where if, if there's a conspiracy that has ten points or more, doesn't matter who, who has the conspiracy. If, they're all to if it all totals up to ten points, it's worth double. That makes it go the game go a lot faster. I don't. I think I might have played that way once, honestly, and it went by so uh, way too quickly. I think I played this with my wife once that way, and whoever won won like a hundred to uh, one, or one had a hundred points. The one who lost had like ten or twenty points. And you have to think then: Do I want to straighten this conspiracy, getting four points for myself or giving him? Let's see, he has four cards out of two. Goes from having eight to sixteen. I get four points, he gets six, he gets eight points. It doesn't really work. It would add another level of strategy to it, but... Anyway, enjoyable game. So, uh, that's what all I have to say for that. So, if you like what you've seen, please like, subscribe, and comment. Always comment, we love getting comments. Other than that, I think that's all we have to say. Thank you for watching, this has been Carson Boards. Have a good evening.